students look at the next question we have a number of solutions to the equation sin inverse of 1 minus x minus 2 sin inverse of x is equal to pi by 2 is if you observe carefully we have sin inverse of 1 minus x minus 2 sin inverse of x is equal to pi by 2 we have sin inverse of 1 minus x minus 2 sin inverse of x is equal to pi by 2 by just observing this equation anybody can say if x is 0 we will get sin inverse of 1 minus 2 times sin inverse of 0 that is equal to pi by 2. So, one possible solution is x is equal to 0. Do you agree with me? x is equal to 0 clearly says, says sin inverse of 1 minus 2 sin inverse of 0 that is equal to pi by 2. So, that clearly says option A is ruled out either B should be correct or C should be correct or D must be correct. Now, let us analyze the question. We have sin inverse of 1 minus x minus 2 sin inverse of x is equal to pi by 2. Let me write the equation again dear students. We have sin inverse of 1 minus x plus cos inverse of 1 minus x is equal to pi by 2. Do you agree with me? With this knowledge, I can straight away equate cos inverse of 1 minus x is equal to minus 2 sin inverse of x. So, cos inverse of 1 minus x and minus 2 sin inverse of x meets only at one point that is x is equal to 0. So, it is very very easy to draw the graph of minus 2 sin inverse of x to your students. See, this is minus 2 sin inverse of x. First one is this is sin inverse of x graph, right? 2 sin inverse of x graph should be like this because it x tends to when it is minus 1, it will become 2 times minus pi by 2 minus pi to plus pi, right? This is the graph of 2 sin inverse of x. If you want minus 2 sin inverse of x, the graph should be like this. Right? This is a graph which you can draw in one stitch. This is not a periodic curve at all. Therefore, the graph of minus 2 sin inverse of x is like this. And what about cos inverse of 1 minus x? See what is the domain of cos inverse of 1 minus x? See 1 minus x should lie between minus 1 and plus 1. Right? Add 1. So, you will get 0 less than or equal to minus x less than or equal to 2. Right? See 1 minus x should lie between minus 1 and plus 1. Subtract 1, you will get minus 2 less than or equal to minus 6 less than or equal to 0. So, if you write the inequality properly, 0 less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to 2. Right? This exists only between 0 and 2. So, what happens when x is 0 dear students? cos inverse of 1 that is 0 again this comes here and the remaining part is towards the right side of y axis. So, however, whatever is the shape of the curve it makes only at this particular point therefore, there is only one solution for this. This clearly says number of solution is equal to 1 that is option B is correct. This is graphical approach to your students. There is a theoretical approach also what is that? You can write like this sin inverse of 1 minus x minus 2 sin inverse of x is equal to pi by 2, shift 2 sin inverse of x to right hand side, you will get sin inverse of 1 minus x is equal to pi by 2 plus 2 sin inverse of x, apply sin both the sides, you will get 1 minus x is equal to sin of pi by 2 plus 2 sin inverse of x. See, suppose x, y, z are in AP, tan inverse of x, 
tan inverse of y and tan inverse of z are also in AP. This is possible only when x, y, z are equal. Look at this dear students. We have a question here x, y, z are in AP tan inverse of x, tan inverse of y and tan inverse of z are also in AP. Then what is the relation between x, y, z is the question. See x, y, z are in AP means y should be equal to x plus z by 2. Is that correct? Or 2y is equal to x plus z. And tan inverse of x, tan inverse of y, tan inverse of z are in AP means tan inverse of 2 times tan inverse of y should be equal to tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of z. Correct? So, what I will say is x, y, z are in AP. Therefore, what I will say is 2y is equal to x plus z. That is the first observation. And second observation, tan inverse of x, tan inverse of y and tan inverse of z are in AP. Therefore, 2 tan inverse of y is equal to tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of z. Now, tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of z. Let us talk about it. Tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of z. We have the formula tan inverse of x plus z divided by 1 minus x z. Is that correct? Tan inverse of tan inverse of x plus z divided by 1 minus x z is equal to ta 2 tan inverse of y. We can write this as tan inverse of 2y divided by 1 minus y square. This implies what dear students? This clearly implies 2y divided by 1 minus y square is equal to x plus z divided by 1 minus x z. But there is a relation between 2y and x plus z. What is z? 2y is equal to x plus z. Therefore, x plus z divided by 1 minus y square is equal to x plus z divided by 1 minus x z. This clearly implies 1 minus y square is equal to 1 minus x z. This implies y square is equal to x z. This implies x, y, z are in what? GP. See, x, y, z are in GP and x, y, z are in AP also. The three numbers will be in GP as well as in AP if and only if the numbers are equal. Therefore, that clearly says x, y, z are equal to each other. Right? So, therefore, this clearly says x is equal to y is equal to z. Option A is correct. Right? So, this implies x is equal to y is equal to z. Suppose if a question is given as sine of 4 tan inverse of x, then it is very easy to solve if you use the formula 2 tan inverse of x as tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square. If you use it, then you will get sine of 2 times tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square you can use. If you use this formula, you can easily solve this. Look at the question dear students. Sine of 4 tan inverse of 1 by 3 we have, right? This 4 tan inverse of 1 by 3, I will write it as 4 tan inverse of 1 by 3. I will write this as 2 into 2 tan inverse of 1 by 3. 
2 tan inverse of 1 by 3, I will write it as tan inverse of tan inverse of 2 by 3 into 1 minus 1 by 9. What is the formula I am using dear students? 2 tan inverse of x is equal to tan inverse of 2x divided by 1 minus x square. Right? So, tan inverse of 2, x is 1 by 3. So, now what you will get here dear students? 2 by 3, 1 minus 1 by 9 is 8 by 9. Correct? Tan inverse of 2 by 3 by 8 by 9. 2 by 3 by 8 by 9 is, see, 2 by 3 divided by 8 by 9. 9 goes to numerator, 3 3 is a 9, 2 4 is a 8, so you will get 3 by 4. This is simplification part. So, 4 tan inverse of 1 by 3, you can write this as 2 tan inverse of 3 by 4, right. So, the question becomes sin of, sin of 2 times tan inverse of, tan inverse of 3 divided by 4, right. Sin of 2 tan inverse of 3 divided by 4. Can you tell me the formula for sin 2 theta in terms of tan theta? That is 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta. Right? If you call this tan inverse of 3 by 4 as theta, you will get sin of 2 theta as 2 tan theta divided by 1 minus tan square theta. See, sin of 2 theta is equal to 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta. If I have said minus, it is 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta. Then what is 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta? That is tan 2 theta. If it is 1 plus tan square theta, it is sin 2 theta. So, sin 2 theta is 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta. So, suppose if you call tan inverse of 3 by 4 as theta, right, tan inverse of 3 by 4 as theta, then definitely tan theta is equal to 3 by 4. Is that correct? So, tan theta is equal to 2, 3 by 4. So, this is equal to, right, sin of 2 theta, that is 2 tan theta, 2 into tan theta is 3 by 4, divided by 1 plus tan square theta, 1 plus 9 by 16. Is that correct? Right. So, now, what you will get now? 2 into 3 by 4, so 2, 2 is a right, 2, 2 is a, so you will get 3 by 2 by 1 plus 9 by 16. So, 1 plus 9 by 16 will give us 25 by 16, is that correct? 25 by 16, 16 goes to numerator, correct? 16 goes to numerator, into 3 by 2 is already there, so 2, 8, sir. so 8, 3 is a 24. So, that is equal to 24 divided by 25. See, don't get confused dear students. 4 tan inverse of 1 by 3, we brought it to the form of 2 tan inverse of 3 by 4. This part is 3 by 4. Right. Now, we will get sin of 2 tan inverse of 3 by 4. We use the formula sin 2 theta as 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta. 2 into tan theta is 3 by 4. 1 plus tan square theta is 9 by 16. So, 2 into 3 by 2, this 2, 2 cancels. And if you simplify this, finally, you will end up with 24 by 25. Option B is correct. Dear friends, you DVG YouTube channel subscribe to our friends and you will be free to our friends.